if you have never tried parrot fish consider giving it a try it is so flaky savory and above all delicious keep watching ahead Hello YouTube family, we meet again, it's Claudie here and welcome back to my kitchen cooking with Claudie. On today's episode, I will be showing you how to grill a whole parrot fish with some perfectly great plantains and with this savory side. If you're new here, a very big welcome to you to my returning subscribers. Thank you so much for all the support. Please don't go away without hitting the subscribe button, like, share and for the ingredients right here, this is what we will be needing for this amazing and savory dish. We have some scallions or green onion. We have onion, maggi cube, garlic, cilantro, fresh lemon, some sprigs of thyme. And we have our beautiful parrot fish here. It has been scaled, gutted, with, gutted and washed with some lemon and vinegar. For the rest of the ingredients, we have some paprika black pepper, seasoned salt, and I'll be using some all spice as well. So let's just blend all the fresh ingredients. Then we get to mix with the dry ingredients. We prep the fish and marinate. For the one lemon, I'm just going to split into two. I will use half to sprinkle on my fish, then I will be using half to make my side. Just be watching ahead. I will be showing you the ingredients which I will be using in making my side. So marinate the fish perfectly, both sides, then stuff the fish with some thyme and lemon slices. I'll use a butcher's twine here to hold everything inside that belly in place. Peeling my plantains right now. This is half ripe plantains. We'll be grilling with the fish the same time. Everything should go to the oven 400 degrees Fahrenheit at about 10 to 12 minutes each side, depending on how thick your parrot fish is. For the sides right here, we have some frozen carrot and peas, corn, and bread bell peppers. So to saute everything in a hot pot, I'll just melt in some coconut oil. You can use olive oil or any of your favorite oil. 
I will start first with the frozen carrot and peas so everything is perfectly cooked in there. Then the rest of the ingredients is going to come in at this point. So for this side, the half lemon you saved from before, you're going to use it to sprinkle on it, then with some salt and pepper to taste with some dry parsley. So let everything saute for about three minutes and you can then set aside and let's check our fish and flip the sides of the fish. It's looking so good. Now I'll just apply some oil from that marinade on it on both the fish and the plantains. Then flip sides, apply more marinade and let it go to the oven again for about 400 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 more minutes. So it's looking so good. So guys, one thing about parrot fish is the fish is really thick. The skin of the fish is so, so thick. And it has something like a darkish line in the middle of the bone. So if you have your parrot fish and you're eating the fish, you see like a dark brownish spot inside the skin. Don't bother about it because that's how the fish looks like. So I'm just setting everything here, ready to serve with my sides. I really love this particular side though. You can enjoy this same side with rice if you want to. Just dressing everything here. This is what we call presentation. The eyes eat first before the mouth. So now everything has been set up. Let us try it and see how it has been perfectly cooked. But I trust that it is perfect, like just perfect. The fish is perfect. It has been cooked to perfection. See how it just breaks from the bone. That's the dark spot in there I told you about. So when you see it, don't be scared like, oh, your fish is bad or something. That is how the fish is. That is just how the fish is. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to try giving, like, if you want to try out parrot fish, you should definitely go for it and you're going to love it. Thank you so much for watching. Till we meet again in my next video, keep trusting my recipes and please stay safe. Bye-bye.